Salutations. Sorry, I just uh, was outside. I'm kind of dirty. But everything's fresh in my head and I, I get distracted. So... Sunrise got me thinking about... Well, all night, actually... I was going over like a conversation I had with a few people and about like the scorpion and the frog or fox or whatever where you know the frog or fox lets the scorpion ride his back across the river he gets stung ask why scorpion says it's in my nature right which uh, it started with me talking to somebody um, about like the fung fungus intelligence like the the baseline of intelligence on the planet as in mineral and then the oldest living thing would be fungus and our gut biome is full of it and what we eat feeds that and creates a, a certain type like obviously okay I've been going back into my vegetarian diet where it's like I, I basically only eat beans uh, potatoes and corn and peas but beans <laughs> mostly uh, sometimes bread but not so much bread anymore and like I used to eat you know, just junk I don't eat junk food anymore the idea of a biome like they brought it up to me I think purpose I mentioned something about not having a purpose in life anymore or having a purpose because I was in a relationship and could have had a family that was my purpose but because of what like infidelity and all that great stuff I ran away that's when I ran to Portland so part of me is in this weird state of mind sometimes where I view that as me running from okay. when we're born to life because we're irresistibly drawn back down into the center to the light down you know down in there but it's something in that light that draws us. It, that's what the light is. It's like a desire, an attachment. And it's the only thing you can see when you're dead. Because you didn't... Anyway, I know I'm not... Blah, blah, blah. Scorpion rides the fox across the river. It stings them. And they both die in the river. But their bodies wash up to shore. Ensuring that the bacteria society, fungus, bacteria, etc. That makes it to the other side. Whether the vessel dies or not, it'll wash up to shore. And the bodies will rot there, right? That's like... And... This has all been going on while we've been doing... You know, our body is light. And... Sacred geometry. Spirit and matter type stuff. Yeah. For full moons. Which, in my head, I like 
I don't like to. I just do. I break down the stories to their archetypes. And like every story is another story told over and over again. Just through time, they get up upgrades, right? And I had this vision of the story as the scorpion is death. The scorpion represents death. The fox or the frog is life. The living that willingly carry death, tries to carry death across the river. Now, because I listen to Pussifer and Tool, I, I, it, all I hear is together we'll cross the river. You know, that, and so. Now, spirit and matter, as opposed to life and death, spirit uplifts matter, right? Or links to it. Spirit uplifts matter. I can complicate things. So that got me thinking of an older version of this story where... wood or yeah wood carries fire because the wood is material fire is spirit and I started to think about see what got what gets me is identify with this Travi identifies with Travis the body more than he does the spirit I think or I at least am hyper aware of the two see now I don't need to go there I got these hanging up on my wall all over the booklet and I got three versions so I have two of them in here I'll just show you. And then up here, I have a little, so the body catches light, the spirit imbued in body becomes a torch of light that is carried and lifted upward, ba ba ba, process, that leads places, okay? Well, in the frog and the scorpion tail, we learn that the, the frog doesn't make it. The scorpion doesn't make it. It's that thing that isn't that makes it. Like in 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 the beginning, for me, it was like the mold thing here. Now the fire that of the torch, like the fire eat devours the wood but it needs the wood to be the flame that it is and the way the way alex has it is like molecules right and a dna helix like thing going on carrying the flame so vessels carry the fire and but it burns us up the more you fight it the more negative experiences you have with it you, this is why you know this is why you let go of, a, of a, your attachments especially yourself and the body because it is a vessel that we use to, this is where I'm at. And are we, Man. 
were being used by our higher self to do the great work. But every second of our lives, oh shit, damn it. No, I lost. I'm fucking losing it, man. The thread. People used to just sit in front of a fire for thousands of years before there ever was a TV or a book or anything. We sat in front of a flame. The sun, the reason for that is because we once were just in the sun, right? Consciousness. Then it slowly started filtering into the planet. Like lightning, all these things they talk about jump started life. Uh, primordial suit struck by lightning. You, magic, whatever. I'd, solar rays, radiation hits the atmosphere. M magic. And with this line of thinking, the more vessels available to spirit, easier it would be be to do the work right except for what's rubbing me the wrong way is that everything that's born to do the work has to die right the flame will devour the torch it is inevitable Which is fine, <laughs> except for the whole suffering of the multitude thing, you see. So, <laughs> meaning for Mephistopheles is what I'm after. Does that make sense? Like the thought The thought of this being a prison keeps creeping in now whether this is because it is is one thing or because it feels like it because we severed our connection to God to be many things see the whole light body sacred geometry me getting back into this has led me back to where it goes and that's my heart <laughs> which is where the wall is built I wish I could do to you what they do to me and just imprint the emotion and thoughts into you. 
A girl during the full moon was talking about communicating with things, and they look like people. Because they are people. See, time and space is a funny thing. Oh, here's the thing. I used to think I was getting messages from a point in time in the future from myself because of some event, something I did, that I was able to do that. But what I've come to realize is that event where I sent these emotions back is my death and the way the information is being sent through time and space is through the neshama the higher self which is outside space and time and the karma of the flesh nefesh and the upper rock bleeds to the lower, well, you rise to the higher. But I'm not there. So what I get is emotion, thoughts, and a fractured understanding. Like telling uninitiated people the secrets of the world doesn't really do any good for them <laughs> and could actually send them in an opposite direction because uh, of the spiraling nature you're always changing points of view but at the bottom you don't see it like that you see it basically two-dimensionally black and white it's only when you get high enough that the spectrum is revealed see to me having a kid represents passing the torch is passing the torch that's what that is right am i right because it you know what else i just noticed it falls on on the page of tempest and tempest is a baby isn't it here let's uh let's have a look at these lyrics because uh i was babysitting i babysit I got lots of babies in my life, they're just not mine, okay? Keep calm, keep it calm, fuck, here we go again. So, oh man, heat lightning flash, don't blink, misleading, tranquility ruse, you're gonna happen again, that's what I think. Follow the evidence, look it dead in the eye. Your darkness, trying to lull us in before the habit, havoc begins into a dubious state of serenity, acting all surprise when you're caught in a lie. Now that could be anybody. I used to take it very personally. Tool comes out with stuff, I usually feel like I'm getting spanked or patted on the head, depending on the song and how I've been, right? So when this first came out, I was like, ah, oh, I'm done this. <laughs> right? But I'm only Tempest in so far as I am the child of Mumsy. Right? Acting all surprised when you're caught in a lie. Now, if you think of a kid, that's their MO. They can't help it. They don't know how to lie, so they act surprised. <gasps> <laughs> okay. 
Blame it all on the bastards when you're blowing out. Shame on you. Shame on you. Now, who do you shame? Shame. Your kid. You shame, shame your kid when they're blaming somebody else for what they did. No amount of wind could begin to cover up your petulant stench and demeanor. So this played exactly when I was changing my cousin's diaper. And as the smell struck me, insight cracked my third eye clean open. And that's when I realized what I'm listening to. Uh, calm as cookies and cream, so it seems. <sighs> calm before the torrent comes. As in a baby, not upset. Calm before the storm. And when he gets hungry, dirty, hurt. It's a fucking tempest of emotion. Uncontrolled rage, uncontrolled sadness. The only way to communicate is by screaming. That's it, that's all it has. <laughs> a tempest will be just that. Okay, that, that's the, oh man. And then the lyrics at the end get mixed up, the way he sings them. And when this album first came out, I was finishing up reading The Invisibles again. Now, in The Invisibles, there's a lot of time travel, a lot of hooey wooey stuff going on. I recommend it if, I don't know why you wouldn't know about it. But, if you don't, <laughs> anyway, at the end, when Red Robin comes back, this is how, see her lyric, the lyrics, see the way the words are, out of place, because she is within and with outside of time, she's walking betwixt the air itself and time. So this is her traveling through time multiple times, actually, in the story. They time suits what are we become in all now. I, they, we in all love. And what King Mob says to that is, I'm ready to play with the grown-ups now. Another reference to kids. Being a child. Him being a child, even. So, it, as tool do, multiple layers. I get that. It can just be about nature in general. The Tempest. Nature itself. Right? But what, what this all comes down to, I guess, in my head, is control. Yeah. The big thing everybody's told is we are one. Wow. And, uh. I don't know where I was going with that. I lost it. The goal is to get out, right? Right. 
I mean, this is great, <laughs> and all, in theory. In practice, it's a lot of things. It's great, it's shitty, it's painful, it's tedious. It's the only thing we know. Hypatos. Show my handsome key. I don't know. I should just delete this again. This is just like the fifth time I've tried to make this. I don't even know why anymore. Purpose. That's what started all this. I don't have purpose. Do without wilt shall be the whole of the law. Part of me feels like I didn't do it. Like, uh, like I was sent here because of my irresistible attraction to a person who I gave up everything for and turned out thus broken. Now I don't trust any of you. No. Not one of them. But part of me still believes that. Having a family is what it's supposed to do. But that's not going to happen. At least not with who I thought. Not who I tried to. Which it's easy to say, well, it's just because it, she wasn't the right one, right? And I agree. That's why I ran away. But I can't make myself, all I can do is hate them, which isn't me not loving them, it's me fucking hating them, her, which isn't helpful for me, and doesn't help me get over anything, I see.